I'm Steph Gill and I've got just a few things I'd like to share with you on the hook reveal units. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss out on anything. And I'm going to run through a couple of things on the hook reveal today. Uh, specifically, um, we're going to go through the functionalities of the buttons, um, how they work and you know, just navigating you through all the different options available. Um, obviously, um, so we're having a look at the, the Hook 9 reveal. Um, there are quite a few different button options here available for you. Firstly, obviously, if you want to power your units on, you'll have a look over here. This is your power button. Um, there's a lot of options available with using the power button, switching it on, um, getting to your system control screen as well, which makes it a lot easier. You don't have to press too many buttons to get to some of the, the basic settings. Um, also be aware of if you press the power button too many times, you'll see that your screen will actually dim. Um, and you'll think, oh, something's wrong with my screen. Actually, you've just sw switched off the black light. So if you scroll through it a couple of times, you'll see what happens over there. It will either go darker or brighter again. At the moment you'll see that we are in our sort of our home page screen and this allows you to get to all the different um, either settings or pages available on the hook reveal um, and this over here is your navigation so you can either scroll across to the left or to the right down or up um, if you're wanting to go into your chart page, all you're going to have to do is click on this button over here. This is your enter button. The enter button also has a couple of different um, uses, um, not just for selecting something, but if you're on your chart page and you're trying to find out where your menu is on the side, all you have to do is press the menu or enter button again and you'll see your menu on the side. Um, if you wanted to go away, that menu over there, you just press the X button and you'll have a full screen on your chart page as well. So now we are on our home page again and I just want to show you how to do something really easy, especially on your waypoint side. If you're wanting to create a quick waypoint on your sonar image, obviously here's your sonar, press enter and now I want to do a quick waypoint. There's this button over here where you, it looks like a little cursor and the little waypoint, just hold it in and a new waypoint um, menu will pop up and here you can change the name, change the icons, whatever you want to do to personalize that waypoint, you can do that here and then all you have to do is press the enter button and that waypoint is saved for a later stage to navigate to it. Okay, so if you want to have a look or zoom into an area, especially on your chart page, you might have a map there and you want to zoom into an area, you go to your chart, put your cursor over the specific area that you want to maybe view a little bit better, and you'll see there's a plus and a minus sign at the top of the this, this screen as well. Zooming in, so you can see more detail, and then zooming out again. A really cool feature that Lorenz has available, um, even on our entry level range um, is a feature called trackback. So your sonar image records roughly up to seven minutes at a time. If you're traveling along and you want to put a waypoint over a spot that looks really appealing to you, but you don't want to have to turn your boat around and go and find that area again, all you have to do is go to your sonar page and then with the arrow key, just go back in history a little bit. Find the place that you want to put a waypoint down Make sure your cursor is over that area. Hold down your waypoint button, press save, and you've got that waypoint for a later stage to go to again. Um, and then obviously, um, now that you've scrolled back in history, you wanna go back to real time. Um, and all you have to do is press the exit button and you'll go back to your real time sonar. Okay, so the hook reveal range has got five different screen sizes. There's a 5, a 7 and a 9 inch. Um, there are different transducers available for each uh, screen size. 
Um, but particularly one of the things that I just want to mention to you guys is the SD card slot. These are fresh finders and chart plotters. So you can add an SD card, whether it's a mapping card or a blank SD card to save your waypoints or maybe do live mapping with. On the 5 inch, you'll find it here on the side. There's a little, just a little rubber seal over there where you can put the micro SD card in on the 5 inch. The same with the 7 inch, it's also on the side here. And then you'll see it on the 9 inch, it's just under your buttons you'll see the SD card slot over there. Sometimes you want to um, also customize the data that is on a particular screen. So on your sonar side, you might want depth and temperature. Really easy to customize that for yourself as well. By just pressing the, the power button, you go into your system controls, edit overlay, and you'll see the little blue block. If that's the one that you want to edit, you'll just Press the enter button and you'll say either add or move or change. So we'll select change and then go to sonar and select depth. And now you can change your depth, you can change so water temperature, um, you can also change if you want to see it in feet or meters. It's really up to you. You can customize your screen quite nicely for yourself with viewing the different types of data.